Hey guys, Keiko RC here. Um, for some reason, every time I try to make the video on this Sony HDR camera or whatever, um, it's kind of an older camera, but I don't know. It keeps on getting messed up. So, anyway, um, I'm covering my Blitz in this video. My HPI Blitz, um, it has a brushless system on it. That is from XTM. XTM is kind of like the hobby people brand. Really good. I mean, I'm. I'm given this like two thumbs up for sure because it's it's held up to the abuse I mean this I had this ESC finally I zip tied it down just recently but for years this thing was just always coming loose and I don't know why maybe it's chassis flexing or something like that but it always flop around I'd be just I mean bashing this I'm talking 30 foot long plus jumps 10 12 feet in the air you know over my house I would jump it on the you use a ramp to jump on one side of my roof and then uh, and then come down the other side. Uh, so I've definitely not been easy on this truck. Everything is original except for that brushless system. And I have an STRC servo saver slash um, uh, uh, bell crank thing over there. So that's really the only things that are not stock on this other than... I, c I can't really consider the uh, tires and rims an upgrade because these are the BFG KR2s, mud terrains or whatever. They, they suck. They're really hard compounds. and The Maxxis tires that came with this were, I mean, they were awesome. So anyway, uh, I really wanted to cover this. Um, I don't have it completely apart, but I do have it open right here. And I don't know if you guys can see. I can I have a glare on my screen here, but... Um, Right, okay, so these are not the, the original uh, mounting screws. If you, anybody has this truck knows that they're black, they're smaller, the head's smaller anyway. And uh, they were good for your everyday track use. But my, my this truck, is for my application, it just wasn't up to the test. The rest of the truck is totally fine. I mean, it is a very, very robust truck, and I think it flexes in the right spots and it's stiff in the right spots. That's what you need. But as far as this goes, um, I was stripping a lot of spurs. And the reason why is because I'd hit really hard, you land the front wheels down first and bam, you slam your back. Well, you'd case it every single time. And every time you'd case it, it, want, it wanted to bring that motor away from that spur every single time. Now the, the original screws, I'm sorry, can you see that? The original screws, you can only get so much torque on them before you'd actually strip them out just by trying to torque them down. And I stripped every single hole out on this motor, the motor plate where the shaft comes out. Um, cheap aluminum they use, I don't know, or maybe it was just the hardened steel screws with the aluminum. I mean, you know, th those don't mix. Um, so I, I just think it was the fine threads on the screws. So what I did is I found these very coarse thread screws. Now, I can't tell you, I mean, I got them at work, <laughs> they had thrown some stuff away, so um, this came off of some, um, I forget, I don't even know what it came off of, it was a piece part, but anyway, um, they had a bunch of screws they were just tossing away, so I'm like, perfect. So I just went looking, I found a tap and die set, and I matched the screws up to a die, t went ahead and tapped my whole motor plate with very coarse threads screws. Now I think what that did is it gave it more bite. People think, oh, finer threads, more threads. That not, doesn't necessarily mean anything because your peaks and valleys of the, those threads are much more shallow when you have finer threads, um, I think, personally. Um, and if they're not as, as, as shallow in, in whatever, uh, there's just too many of them and what it just it's it's not it doesn't get that bite it needs so I want a coarse thread screw bigger in size altogether and I can really crank these things it doesn't even feel like it, it wants to strip on the other ones you can definitely you feel it and you're like oh sh crap I went too far so uh, these ones saved my life on this truck I was just really getting frustrated I almost I had to tell you they almost just threw it against the wall. Not like it would have broke this thing, because this thing's ridiculous, but um, it would have given me some uh, stress relief anyway. But yeah, this uh, this truck is, is a monster, and I, and I like it. It's a good beginner truck. If you keep the brush motor and stuff like that, um, you know, if I would have had my kids earlier, I probably would have just kept that in there and had them play with it, but I'll get them something that's uh, worthwhile later on. But um, 
here. So, anyway, I did all that, right? Now, uh, that's everything else is stock. Everything else is stock on this truck. Um, there's a couple things I did. I flipped these A-arms around in the back, gave me a longer wheelbase. It, it jumps like this. I mean, it's flat. It's just flat. It doesn't nosedive, nothing like that. It just... Whoosh. But if you don't cut these holes in your body like I did, I cut the windshield out in the rear uh, section right here of this uh, body. But you get this. I mean, it just... Whatever, but um, it works still, and that's all that matters. So I bought this off some kid on eBay. He 3D printed it. It was 20 bucks. And it comes with the COB LED strip uh, circuit on board. It's pretty bright. Uh, here's here's my battery strap for my Blitz that holds the battery down inside the chassis. And then I just put a 1,000 milliamp uh, hour uh, Gen's Ace. I got it on eBay. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Amazon. I shop on Amazon a lot, but. Um, I swear, one I think this was like seriously. I think it was like six bucks. It was it was super cheap, and I just had to grab it. Uh, I added it to my cart. I remember, and then when I uh, went back to check on it, it went up. It doubled in price for some reason. So I'm kind of it was like one of those flash sale things. But bam, nice and bright, perfect at night. Uh, the kid, the kids love it, and they can run around in the dark because you know. Uh, kids like to run around in the dark, I guess. But and then here is a surface mount LED uh, strip that I I cut to fit, and I just soldered my own leads on and stuff. It works, but and it looks bright when I'm looking at my screen here on the camera. It looks pretty bright, but it, it's not as bright. It, if you take it outside, not even close as bright as that circuit on board uh, strip that I got from that kid. So anyway, um, quick video on the on the HPI Blitz. Um, Really just wanted to cover it. I haven't made a video yet of it, and and I I was kind of giving up on it, and that's the reason why I bought my my Baja Ray just to kind of get something different and get back into this RC stuff instead of just goofing around. I kind of wanted to get something you know a little more sophisticated, and I don't know, just I I don't know. <laughs> I just bought it because it's fun, really. But um, I did some stuff to the low C today. I played hooky from work, um, so the boys are sleeping. But I did I did some stuff. As far as uh, changing out the Shaco to 35 weight, uh, and I, I, I swapped the uh, the mounting holes. You can't see, but I'm not going to move the camera. Uh, it's I'll get another video on that. But anyway, um, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll do that. But anyway, as far as the blitz goes, if you guys for some reason want me to take the motor out, uh, if someone is just wondering what the heck I'm talking about, I'm a visual learner, so if you are too, and this is confusing you for some reason just let me know I'll yank the motor out and I'll just show you the holes what I'm talking about and 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 the screw what I'm talking about the threads um, as far as them being coarse versus fine um, just I don't know if you guys have any other questions or, or requests I can I can try to fit it in here and uh, it doesn't take me too long to disassemble stuff put it back together it's it's finding the time to believe it or not doing the video stuff and trying to I don't even edit anything, but for some reason it just takes longer to do the videos and upload them and do all this stuff, and I don't know. But when it comes to this stuff, I, yeah, I'll have this thing together in two seconds and then drive it around, but um, yeah, let me know, guys. Uh, my first, uh, it's my first uh, video on the Blitz. I'm running 55 weight in the back, 35 in the front. That's because that's what I use for my particular needs when I'm jumping it like crazy. Um, and oh yeah, the other night when I was I was jumping this so hardcore that uh, all my ball cups in the front just as was last night actually they all just popped off and it just snapped them right back on. But I do have some RPM uh, lowers for the back here, uh, which will stiffen it up where it needs to be, and my dog bones won't be flying out uh, across the street. Um, luckily, they make a good amount of noise when they fall out, so I can kind of trace it with my ears and then get the flashlight out and then go stuff it back in there and I just usually pop a ball off and boom good to go anyway uh, that's it man that's it guys so uh, let me know uh, if you need anything else on, on and I'll I'll do whatever I need to do to give you the information you need all right thanks guys see ya